Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on eBay this week. Now if you want to bid on any of the items that you see in this video, please do. Happy bidding. <laughs> I'll put the link down below in the description box to my eBay page. Just go to items for sale and then bid, 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 bid. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you enjoy watching, which I hope you do, don't forget to uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment, smash the notification bell as well. And uh, yeah, let's just get started because I'm rambling as ever. Okay, so uh, selling lots of random bits as ever, a bit of this, a bit of that. Some of the stuff you'll see in this video you wouldn't have seen before. Uh, some stuff you would have seen in previous uh, what I'm selling videos. If they haven't sold, uh, I do relist stuff okay and I'm really sad this week like I don't want to like you know get really emotional but I'm really sad that I didn't sell that much this week like eBay is like a great way for me for making extra cash and stuff I work really hard on it uh, but this week was like really bad like I, I virtually sold I think like eight things or something it was really a struggle this week so I'm hoping this week might be a bit better hopefully so um yeah let's be positive hopefully I do better this week right <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I have this Poundland mug. It's brand new in the box. This would be such a funny novelty gift for someone for Christmas or their birthday. Like, can you imagine that? Someone opening that wrapped up and going like, oh, thanks. It even says on it, this mug costs a pound. I just think this is hilarious. I mean, even if you don't want to give it away, if you love the Poundland, keep it for yourself. Why not? Uh, next up, we have this wall racer car. I'd never heard of this. I saw this and I got this to sell, um, but it just sounds really cool. It's a wall racer. Um, basically, it is the amazing um, gravity-defying car. It drives up um, vertical walls and it even goes upside down across the ceiling. I, that's so cool. Can you imagine that? Um, it's got a little remote control in the box as well. I have checked it. Everything is in there. So you get the car and the remote control. What a fantastic gift for someone. Like, you know, it's just going to be really good fun. Um, also, I have this book here, which I actually uh, read recently. And, and it was okay. Like, I found a few of the stories quite spooky. I mean, that's what it is. It's a, a book filled with spooky stories. So it's my own fault, really. <laughs> But basically, it's called my Hide His Hideous Heart, and it's a collection of 13 spooky, eerie, gothic literature stories based on uh, original stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, so part of the book, the first part of the book is retellings, reimaginings, that kind of thing by some really great authors. I mean, if I show you the back here, a couple of my favourite authors are featured in here. You've got Ken Zeb Blake, who I love, and Tiffany D. Jackson, um, and obviously others as well. But yeah, first half is the retellings of the stories. And the second part of the book is the actual original uh, Edgar Allan Poe story. So if you like your literature really dark and spooky and gothic, check this book out. Next up, we have this dress. This is from Debut, and it's uh, size 18. Uh, it, this is the thing, right? It really confuses me, this dress. doesn't take much to confuse me, to be fair. Um, I think it's blue, but then another time I look at it, I think it's purple. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, now, I will say, with these uh, videos, you see clothes that I'm selling. I only kind of hang things up so you can have a quick look. But if you want a bit of, you know, detailed information about the clothing and, and obviously clearer full-length pictures, etc., look on my actual listings on eBay. Um, but, yeah, let me know if you think this dress is um, purple or blue. Okay, next up is this jacket. It's a tailor jacket from Next. It's a size 14. It's like a chocolate brown, like a dark chocolate brown colour. Um, it kind of feels and looks like cord. I don't know if it is cord, but it's like a cord jacket. Loving these big buttons as well. And if you look inside, look at the lining. It's really nice, like floral print lining floral print um this jacket i would have wore back in the day uh when i was into my kind of indie pop kind of music like blur oasis pulp this was the sort of thing that i would wear like that kind of cooled brown colored jacket um but yeah it's really nice very smart as well i mean you could dress it up or dress it down really Okay, so people love doing arts and crafts. I like arts and crafts, but I'm just really useless at it. 
it's not fair. But this is a book. Uh, this could either be for yourself or, you know, obviously we've got Christmas coming up, Christmas gifts. It's hard to get to the shops at the moment. You know, we are in a, in a lockdown situation. We don't know if there's going to be like a longer uh, extension to that lockdown. Um, so it is hard to get gifts and stuff. So get online and get your, your gifts from that, you know, in case you have to worry at the last minute. And, and also find your gifts for other people on my eBay page. Hint, hint. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, this is a book and it's called Homemade Gifts with Love. And it's got over 35 beautiful handcrafted gifts uh, to make and give. Um, I would love to sit and like make something like that, like this. Look at that, like a little heart thing here. I mean, really lovely book filled with all different ideas and how to make them and stuff. And uh, yeah, I just wish I was good at crafts. I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> okay, this didn't sell. I'm going to get the violins out. Every time I say something didn't sell, I'll be started crying. <laughs> um, yeah, this didn't sell. I had to relist it. Now, why wouldn't this not sell? It's brand new. It's sealed. You can have a party in your own house. You can host your own 70s evening, 70s party. This comes with so much cool stuff. You get a little CD. You get a quiz. You get some groovy recipes for the 70s stuff. Uh, you get little name badges, medallion, pin. I mean, look, this has pin pin the medallion on the man and you know instead of pin the tail on the donkey I mean come on this is fun in a box fun in a box bring home the magic the taste the atmosphere the music grab it it's on my ebay page go go bid on it people and host your own 70s evening um okay next up also relisted how did this not sell like everyone loves little miss surely in the mr men this is a puzzle it's got 45 pieces and it is little miss sunshine she's having a picnic apparently what's she got on her picnic oh she's got some cakes donuts oh sounds good i might actually join her myself <laughs> okay um <laughs> i don't know what that was we've got some pokemon little mcdonald's pokemon figures and uh i'm i'm gonna put them on individually again one more week if not i am gonna put them on as a little bundle of two uh, but yeah these are like original mcdonald uh, mcdonald's uh, toys pokemon toys so yep they're on on sale individually at the moment right christmas jumpers Okay, this is very fluffy, this one. It's got a penguin on it, and uh, it is from Matalan. And it's bright red, and it's got a big fluffy penguin on with a big party hat. So uh, that's on there. I'm dressing up for Christmas and New Year and stuff. I know we can't celebrate as we normally would and stuff like that, but there's no excuse why you can't still be a bit glamorous and have fun and dress up and stuff with, you know, a smaller gathering in your house, you know. Um... I'm going to dress up, you know. Anyway, right, this top, um, Primark, size 14. This didn't sell. I thought this was going to sell because it had a few watches and then the watches disappeared and it didn't sell, which was like, oh, that sucks. Um, but it's cool. It's like all chains, like a chains design, like necklaces and chains and stuff and tassels. Really, really cool. Uh, that's on there. Also, what didn't sell, Smurfette. It's this blanket. I've had this on there for weeks. Hold on, let me... Turn around the right way so you can see her beautiful face. There she is. And I'm not just saying it, but this blanket is like super, super soft. Come on, everyone. Give Smurfette a home. She's lovely and snuggly and pretty and it's getting cold. You'll need a blanket, surely. <laughs> trying to sell it. Um, <laughs> next up, we've got the Millionaire. Who wants to be a Millionaire quiz book? That is for Sal. Um, I don't know how I'd do on the show. Probably not very well. I'd be lucky if I got like a couple of grand. Um, then we've got a colouring book here, Dora and Friends in the City. Um, so I was selling some other little colouring books that I had and they all sold. But for some reason, Dora didn't sell. Come on, Dora. Come on, Dora the Explorer. Right, we've got this uh, kid's fancy dress costume here. This is one of the um, David Walliams books. Hold on, let me straighten this out. It's Gangster Granny, uh, which I think is really cool little design. Look at that. Look, it's got on the uh, jacket there, Gangster Granny, David Williams. And uh, you've got like the little necklace. It's all sparkly. It's a really cool outfit, actually. I've never read any of his books. I do like David Williams. He's, um, he's a very funny man. But I don't know what he's like as an author. I mean, his books do really well. So he must be... Uh, must be pretty good, right? Uh, this top is from Daxon. It's a size 18. It's like white and purple. And it's got, yep, a floral print. <laughs> OK. 
okay we've got this big old fluffy jumper here this is so fluff it's like a big old fluff ball um i was gonna keep it but i've got a few other fluffy jumpers and like there's only so many fluffy jumpers a girl can have hold on let me turn it around there we go that's the right way literally it's so fluffy it's so fluffy uh, this is from primark it is a size 18 and colouring wise, I mean, what would you say? Cream. I think it's kind of like a cream oyster uh, kind of colouring. Um, do, 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 do. Also selling these playing cards they didn't sell last week. Brand new and sealed Guinness playing cards. Could be a nice little gift for someone uh, for Christmas or for yourself if you like a bit of the old playing cards. Um, there's no Guinness in it, unfortunately. You can't drink the cards. You can only play with them. <laughs> Also, I'm selling, uh, selling some skincare products. We've got the uh, Detox Tonic from ASOS and also a refresher. This is a hydrating face mist. So um, they're on there, as is these. We've got a dress here. As I say, look on my eBay page. You'll get a better look at these items. You know, I do take some nice photos of them. Well, I think I do anyway. You might not agree, but uh, this is a dress from Marks and Spencers. Size-wise, I can't remember what it is. Hold on, I'll have a look. There we go. It's a 16, size 16 dress from Marks and Spencers. Can you imagine how much, like, how expensive that would have been, like, to buy new? Marks and Spencers, I like this stuff, but, geez, they're so expensive. I saw a top in the window the other day. It's, like, stripy, kind of rainbow-ish, and I was like, oh, that looked nice. And then I got on in there and it was like 30, 40 quid. I was like, yeah, no, I'm fine for that. It's okay. I'll stick to Primark. It's okay. Um, this top is a size 20 from Pep & Co. It's lovely. I love this top, but I've already got one really similar. That's why I didn't keep it. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, we've got some bags coming up. This is a really nice bag and it's upside down. <laughs> I was like, that looks different. There you go, that's the right way up. So this is like a tapestry uh, kind of style bag. That's what I call it anyway. And you've got the teddy bears there and some plant pots and flowers. This is such a lovely bag. Um, and you know what I'm going to say. I would keep it, but I've already got loads of bags. Um, and I have, I've got so many tote shopping bags. It's ridiculous. I have to have a bag for my bags like literally that's what I have to do uh <laughs> you got a little watering can here and it's a really big shopping bag as well it could get loads in there it's just plain at the back so if you like teddy bears and flowers and you go shopping that could be a bag for you and uh, there's a book here I'm literally just pulling things out of the bags next to me to show you I'm not very organized um so this is making great paper crafts origami stationery and gift wraps once again I'm no good at things like that. But I know a lot of you watching love your uh, arts and crafts. I've got one slipper here. Hopefully there is another one. Here we go. Been a bit rubbish to sell, wouldn't it? One slipper, everybody. One slipper. Now, I've got the two slippers right, <laughs> right here. Um, so these are from... I can't remember. Hold on, let me have a look. Where are they from? Oh, yeah, they're from George. They're a size three to four. They are so soft and so fluffy kind of zebra animal print got the nice pink on there as well um and underneath you've got a bit of a grip they're like that kind of material that if you're walking upstairs you're not gonna slip i hate those slippers that you can get which they've got no grip on them at all and you just be like Aah. um this is a dress i believe size 14 from um papaya which is matalan there we go really kind of uh, as they say hippie hippie boho style this is lovely if this was a bigger size i would have kept this i love the coloring of it the black and the red i love the style the pattern everything but <sighs> alas it is too small for me <laughs> stop eating cheese stop eating cake laura then you might get into these clothes <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, next up is this jumper here size 20 from primark this is sparkly as sparkly can be it's silver it's sparkly i mean this would be absolutely perfect 
for Christmas and New Year. I love, um, I've got a Christmas sparkly jumper that I got just before lockdown. Um, I found it in a charity shop for £2. I was tempted to sell it, but then I loved it so freaking much. I was like, yeah, I'm not selling that. I'm keeping it for this year. I'm not going to show you. You're going to have to wait till Christmas time for me to like, you know, wear it and pose and pout on my social media. It's that one of the coolest Christmas jumpers ever. Okay, just saying. But yeah, this is really nice as well. Very sparkly. You need a little bit of sparkles at Christmas time, don't you? Um, right, next up, uh, this top here is like blue and white. Hold on, let me. It's really difficult doing this with one hand because I'm holding the phone and, you know. Right, where's this from? Hold on. It's got like little trees on it. It kind of reminds me of... Um, you know when they had like the cutlery with and and like knives and forks and and uh, you know what they called like oh there's some name for it the Chinese I don't know trees or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about but do you know what I'm saying if you're watching this video and you think you know what I'm talking about please help me um what is hold on well it's from Evans it's a size twenty two twenty four and yeah it's just got these really cute little trees on you must know what I mean like there's a special name for it and they have them on like uh, cups and saucers as well and stuff no anyway I think it's really nice <laughs> hopefully you do as well and you want to buy it then we've got my hoodie I'm actually upside down I'm actually selling uh, one of my own hoodies I do that sometimes I go through my drawers and my cupboards and I think do I want it? Am I going to wear it? Mm. Um, at the moment, the sleeves have tucked themselves in. Hold on. There we go. Um, so this is from Primark, size 18. It's this lovely, like, rustic, uh, browny, orange colouring. And it says Austin, Texas on it. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was. I like the design. But on me, I just think it it's just a bit too baggy on me. I think it's more of a size 20 than an 18. And I usually like my clothes quite baggy. Um, but it just looks so big. It gives me, like, really hench shoulders <laughs> and I got really paranoid about it and I thought I was just imagining it um and I said to Nathan when I wear this top do my shoulders look really hench and he was like you know you look like a muscle woman I was like yeah that's kind of <laughs> it kind of what I was thinking I just didn't like it it just made me look too like Ooh, Arnold Schwarzenegger so yeah anyway I'm, I'm selling it um this is uh size 14 from Divided which is who is that oh H&M so you've got like the mustard color the white and then the rest of it is black i wish that was in a bigger color that uh, bigger color bigger size i would have kept that now they say it's unlucky to uh, open umbrellas in the house but i suppose i'm gonna have to do it a bit otherwise you can't see it um okay so this is a dc comics umbrella plain black on the outside you might be thinking well that's a bit boring laura what are you selling that for however give me give me chance to show the exciting part inside I don't want to open it up. It's not good luck. Hold on. I can't even do it. It's very difficult with one hand. Hold on. Let me open it up a bit. There we go. I haven't opened it full in case that stops the curse. It's not open fully. So basically you get inside, which looks really cool. It's like a dark blue. And um, in the sections you've got Superman, you've got Batman and Robin. It's pretty cool, I have to say. Who's your favourite DC hero? Let me know who your favourite... Uh, comic hero is from the DC world and somewhere in the bag oh here it is there's a little um holder for the umbrella as well so you can keep it nice and tidy when it's not actually raining okay so this is what all of my viewers are read that adorable yeah <laughs> You are, though. Apart from the trolls, you're not so much adorable. But the nice viewers are adorable. So, listen, these are, um, I have two of them, Peppa Pig curtains. Um, so, I don't know the measurements now off by heart. But if you go on my eBay, as I say, the page is listed down below the link. Go to items for sale. Um, it does have the measurements of them. And they are super cute. Like, if you, you know, you've got a kid and they like Peppa Pig Oh, hey, don't worry about kids. You might like Peppa Pig. Do you know what I mean? Um, treat yourself to some lovely curtains. I've never sold curtains before, I don't think. Hey, maybe it's the first. Right, next up is this top from Matalan, size 18. As you can see, it's like that mustardy yellow striped uh, top at the color. It, uh, at the back, it's just a plain black color. And we've also got this dress here. I think this is relisted. 
possibly, or it might not have been on there before. I'm not sure. Um, I forget what I've relisted and what's new kind of thing to put on. Um, so this is from F&F, which is Tesco's. Really lovely, smart design. And the colouring for me, anyway, I think it's like a dark gold and navy. But, you know... <laughs> I don't know what it is with me in colour. I think this is a certain colour and then someone will be like, no. Like the other week, um, me and Nathan, so I'm looking for the size. Me and Nathan had a disagreement. Then I asked you, the viewers, to start, get involved and see what you thought. Because I thought this top was like orange. He said, it, no, I thought it was gold. He said it was orange. And then everyone got involved and agreed with Nathan. I can't find the size. Sorry. It's on the listing. So if you like it, find it. <laughs> You'll know the size then. I'm not very professional, am I? Um, but yeah, people getting involved. I'd clearly lost that battle because everyone was like, sorry, Laura, I agree with Nathan. It's it's orange. I was like, nice nah, gold. No, it was the other way around. I can't remember. Anyway, moving on. We have this dressing gown. This is for a child aged 10 and it's a Star Wars dressing gown. Storm Trooper right here, right there. And it's this lovely blue color, really soft as well like super super uh, super 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 soft and fluffy and it's got the uh the stormtroopers all over it so that's on there what else have we got oh we've got this nice smart bag oh man look at this mess i've got to tidy this up in a bit that should be fun shouldn't it not ah come here right this <laughs> I'm talking to a bag I'm starting to worry about my mental health now um come here bag right this is from Primark. It's a lovely grey colour and uh, really, really smart. Look how smart this... Oh, just knocked my phone there. This bag is very, very smart. It's quite big as well, so you could get a lot of stuff in there. Okay, so this little fella hasn't sold. Well, I say little. He's bigger than my hand. So he is uh, from Sega. He's called Monstar. Monstar, is that? Um, look, little Cyclops Monster. So if he doesn't sell this week, he will have... A home here. Do not fear. Um, also, look what I'm still stuck with. <laughs> the shoot annual. Shoot 1991 a football annual. Come on, you must know someone who loves a bit of old football memorabilia. What a great gift for Christmas this would be. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> these are back as well. The old crafting pegs. Weekday crafting pegs. Brand new and sealed. And we've also got this Disney puzzle, which I have no idea why... Uh, it has not sold. People love puzzles. People love Disney. There's a lockdown. We're stuck in our houses. There's nothing to do. Do a puzzle. Do a Disney puzzle. Do this puzzle. <laughs> Buy the puzzle. It's been on there for blooming weeks. And don't say I should keep it. I'm no good at puzzles, unfortunately. Um, I start off all right around the corners and then it all goes a bit wrong. Got this book on sale as well. The Diamond of Jewelry Lane. Really cool cover. Um, what else have we got? Oh, by the way, don't forget, I'm also selling on my eBay page, link down below. Um, I'm also selling tarot card readings and angel card readings. So if you're into your mystical future being told by moi, um, that's me, by the way, in French. Uh, if you want that, <laughs> just uh, get yourself a reading. I can do a one card reading, a three card reading or a week ahead spread. Uh, so, yeah, check out the listings and get a tarot or angel card reading. Also, I've got a couple of bundles on there, like some book bundles. I've got some uh, a thriller, bundle of thriller books and also um, a bundle of young adult books as well. I think they've got like six books in each, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, that's that's worth a bargain. Also, we've got these playing cards, brand new and sealed from Paul Lamond Games. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm trying... <laughs> <laughs> not to <laughs> sorry <laughs> bless you if that really scared anyone i'm sorry i did warn you i was gonna sneeze oh uh we've got this top here this is from simply b and uh, it's orange and it's got all these little sequins on it i think that's the size 18 if i remember rightly um these are stuff, as I say, that's been relisted. I'm not going to show you everything because, you know, you'd have seen it before. But just go on my eBay, go to items for sale and just scroll down. There's like, you know, pages of it. Just, you know, scroll along and see if there's anything you like for yourself or for someone else as a gift. Uh, get it off my hands. <laughs> because I can't sell it and it's really sad <laughs> I've took down the prices for a few of these things as well some of the stuff that ain't sold 
Um, ha- that's really bad grammar. Ain't sold. Hasn't sold. Um, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to knock the prices down, trying to get rid of stuff, you know. Um, so some of them have gone down to like 50p a pound. So it's worth scrolling through the items. This dress, yeah, size 16 from Primark. I don't know how this dress hasn't sold. Like, it's so lovely. I really would keep this, but my belly is not going to get into it, let's be honest. Or the chest area either. Um, this book is for sale by Amanda Foodie, Queen of Vaults. This is a young adult book. It's number three in the uh, Ace of Shades series. There's also King of Fools. I read this recently. I mean, it's literally only come out like in the last month or so. So I've got it up for like 99p. You should grab it. It's a really good book. Um, right, what else have I got in here? I'm not going to get everything out as I say, but there's still some clothes on there. Um, plus size clothes, men's trousers, women's tops, women's dresses. And guess who's back? It's him. It's Jake. Jake and the something pirates. Neverland, is it? Oh, I never remember. Every single week. This is such a lovely little Disney dressing gown. Um, age wise, it's for 18 to 24 months. And uh, it's Jake the pirate. <laughs> Who looks like Nathan. I say that every time. And every time I say it, I know he hates that I say it. Um, well, it. To be honest, it doesn't look like him now as much. But when I first met Nathan, he had super spiky hair. And that, to me, looks a little bit like Nathan back in the day. I mean, he hasn't got a beard, Jake, obviously. And Nathan has. Um... <laughs> anyway, please buy it just so he doesn't have to hear me keep saying, he looks like Nathan, Jake, on this dressing gown. Um, I've got a polka dot top. Size 20. I've got this lovely new look top. Floral print. Floral print. I've got some books here. I've got this 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 knitting. Beatrix Potter knitting book. There's me. I'm not going to show everything. Proceeds to grab everything out of a bag. No, no, I won't show everything. Um, This book. How has this not sold? Poem for the day. Andrew, let's have a look at today's poem. Hold on. Let's have a look. So, what is today's date? There we go. 18th of November is when I'm filming this. Oh, it's blurry as anything. Ooh. Uh, marriage is not a house or even a tent. <laughs> is it before that and colder? The edge of the forest, the edge of the desert. The unpainted stairs at the back where we squat outside eating popcorn. The edge of the receding glacier. <laughs> glacier, glacier. We're painfully and with... Wonder at having survived even this far. We are learning to make fire. That's from Margaret Atwood. See, this book is filled with happy, <laughs> positive poems like that. Surely you want this, right? Surely. Um, I don't know where the other shoe's gone, but here's... Oh, here it is. Hold on. Yeah, I found it. Um, these are little <laughs> polka, dot, <laughs> polka dot pumps. Uh, little ballet kind of shoes. Obviously not for real ballet. But, you know, they call them ballet pumps. Right, one more thing I'm going to dig out of this bag. What's it going to be? What am I going to show? I don't know. Oh, it's the Where's uh, Where's Wally plates. They're on there. And I can never find Wally. Is that him? Oh, no, it's not him. These are party plates. There's also uh, some paper cups to go with this as the set. Uh, one day I'll do this video um, and I'll find Wally. I can't find him. It literally irritates me. How does anyone like Where's Wally? By the way, in America, I think you call it Where's Waldo. Don't Waldo, Waldo, Waldo. I don't know where he is. I give up. Anyway, <laughs> so that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to buy anything, please do. Um, <laughs> please help me. I mean, my spare room is <laughs> it's filled with eBay. And bless her, my mum is getting a little bit like, when are you clearing that spare room? When are you getting rid of that eBay? I'm like, Mum, I can't. It's not sold yet. And then the next day, Laura, when are you clearing that eBay? She's got another voice now. Laura, when are you clearing that eBay? It's stuck all in. I can't get to my cupboards. I can't get to the drawers. Got eBay bags everywhere. Yeah, Mum, it's relisted. Hopefully it'll sell and I'll be able to get rid of it. <laughs> Imagine that every day. So this is why you need to buy all my stuff on eBay just to give me a little bit of a breather for my mum moaning about my eBay stuff. <laughs> 
the spare room. Oh, I'm only kidding. I'm actually, I'm not kidding. I'm actually being deadly serious. Um, but listen, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's made you smile. And you know what? In all seriousness, I hope you have found something in this video you'd like to purchase. Um, I do pretty much everything as bids. There are the few odd things as bite nows. Um, oh, I know what I forgot to show you. Hold on, hold on. This. I bought this to sell. There we go. I completely forgot. Lucky I remembered at the last minute of the video. This is a beautiful set. It's brand new and it's uh, from Radox. It's called Sending You to Sleep. Um, yeah, literally, it's so lovely. And I thought someone would really like that as a gift for themselves or, you know, for someone else for Christmas. It says lavender and water lily bath soak. You get a bath bomb, sleep mask and uh, a bath oil as well. So a uh, really lovely little set. Brand new from Radox. Sending you to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh my, look at this mess. It's literally everywhere. Uh, listen everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget, give this video a big thumbs up. Share it. Tell your friends about my channel. Be like, hey, I watch this brilliant girl. She's in the cool Minx Laura 123's Wacky World. She's got a great channel. Her videos are amazing. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Just say, look, check out this girl. She's got a really weird, rubbish channel. But look, um, really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Uh, if you want to become a channel member, that would be awesome. Press that join button now. For as it was a pound or a dollar a month, you can become a member. How cool would that be, right? Um, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Shall you? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I'm going to see you soon. Ooh, that's nice. Bye. <laughs>